What? No, thank you. And it's round number three today for the Canadian Grand Prix in our return to glory with Williams. Last time out, really great race at Las Vegas. The Williams OP straight line speed was incredible. And we come to Canada. Uh, I, I, I forgot the next round was going to be Canada in this custom calendar we've got. So this actually might be another good Grand Prix for us. Like if we look at the circuits we've got... Canada probably should be a good one for us, like in Las Vegas. I think our car, not as strong in the corners compared to others, but I think in a straight line, we've got a clear advantage, I think, because from Melbourne to Las Vegas, it was quite some turnaround. As you can see, there was a podium for Yuki. Piastri probably should have been up there, but um, he didn't actually have the consistency, you know? I think he's got more overall speed than Sonoda, but the consistency is there with Yuki. He's used to the car, of course, being a driver for Williams. For the, for the previous season when we weren't managing Williams and we were managing McLaren. But yeah, Montreal should be good. Maybe even Imola. Then I'm a bit worried at how we're going to do at Barcelona. Uh, Austria might be a return to form and then maybe some very difficult tracks for us at the British Grand Prix and Hungary. But there's definitely some good circuits in there that I think our car can perform at. And of course, we will be bringing upgrades to the car to try and help out the weak points and the weak areas. But we've only got four days to the Canadian Grand Prix, so I don't think there's probably any time really to do any upgrading I think we're gonna just be getting straight into the racing action to be honest because we've got well we've got a new front is that a new front wing we've made uh, is it or is it an old one? No, it's it's the current one. We just made a spare of it. Yeah, so basically, I don't think there's going to be any time to actually get a new upgrade on the car. Um, so let's just hope the car we had in Las Vegas is going to be good enough to perform also in Mont Montreal, which has been happy hunting grounds for me on this game, at least with McLaren it was in Season 1 and Season 2. Here in Season 3 with Williams... Well, we've got one of our old McLaren drivers, so let's hope the vibes return. In practice, the pace is looking pretty okay. Verstappen and Leclerc, though, in the Red Bulls, looking very quick indeed. But Piastri up there in P3 and FP3, Sonoda P5. Yeah, I think we've got some still pretty good pace off the back of Las Vegas into Montreal. You know, straight line speed helping us out a lot there. Setup satisfaction, 90% for Piastri, 96 for Sonoda. Very, I think that's the strongest setup we've had so far. Uh, since the beginning of the season. So that's pretty good. There is maybe going to be some rain, I think, on the way for qualifying. Um, so let's see about that. I mean, it says moderate rain and partly cloudy for the race. Moderate rain could mean anything. I mean, I'm seeing some droplets of the rain here in this little cutscene vista uh, in the background. So I definitely think the intermediates will be involved. That might be a little less, you know, a good scenario for us. But... Who knows? Maybe Sonoda and Piastri will surprise me once again. Right, it's intermediate straight off the bat, so I'm just going to do one flyer for both of them without a cooldown. See how that goes, first of all. And then we'll see. First one's out there. Is the rain going to subside? No, it's going to get worse as we go on through this session. So, actually quite good to get there nice and early and just get a lap in, because if it gets wetter, the thought is the, the lap time will get even slower as we go on through this session. So both of us are the first two to put a time on the board. Sonoda just marginally ahead of Piastri, um, and I'm hoping that'll be good, at least enough to get this through into Q2, because uh, surely anyone going a little bit later here in this region, like the rain's already picking up around, you know, in, what's that, like uh, five minutes time? Five minutes time, so... Yeah, people on their outlaps now may be facing that heavier rain uh, by the time they come to finish their laps, I guess. And right now, that looks to be the case because Norris goes slower. Red Bull, okay, with Verstappen go quicker. Leclerc's had a bit of a mare there. 1.6 off the pace. Russell, though, popping in a very surprising time for Ferrari. Uh, still not used to these uh, these transfers, you know. It's so mind-boggling seeing Russell in a Ferrari. More more than Leclerc in a Red Bull. I don't know why. Let me know if you agree with me. I feel like Russell and Ferrari is even more alien. Like Leclerc in Red Bull. I don't know. For some reason, I can kind of see it. Russell and Ferrari, just it just doesn't seem right. Well, there's two minutes to go. And I think Leclerc's had a massive mare. It is wetter. And he is stone dead last don't even think he's gonna bother coming out no that is Leclerc stone dead last knocked out of qualifying that is a huge one that's the benefit to all of us other rival teams that's one less Red Bull to worry about because Leclerc was pretty rapid in Las Vegas and he was actually bothering us actually more than Verstappen uh in the full Grand Prix wasn't it um until right, right at the end where he fell off a little bit so um, that's actually pretty good for us. Norris is still there, the one who denied us that debut 
you know, first win with Williams, uh, our old, our old driver, our old reigning champ. But um, I mean, that's just yeah, that, that's good. One less car to worry about. Hopefully, we can get both through into Q3. Piastri a little bit off the pace versus Sonoda and it's pretty damn close actually even these wet conditions I say wet conditions so it looks like it might be softs at the start hang on a minute okay let's get this ready then before we get going loading in so we can go straight away I have a hunch we will just go straight out then pause this straight away it looks pretty sunny uh, and it's going to rain later in the session I don't know how that works it got wetter at the end of Q1 and then suddenly it's bone dry I'm going to get wetter again at the end of the session. Very, very odd. Right. Going to send out Piastri. Little bit of a break. And then send out Sonoda. Right. So both cars out early. Decent little gap between both of them. And we get ahead of all the traffic here. And hopefully we don't get held up by traffic as they come around for their laps, really. Because that will be the annoying thing. I kind of have a bad feeling that might be the case. No. Okay. Completely clear track. For both drivers, that is fantastic news as Piastri comes down the main straight into the final corners past the Wall of Champions. Oscar Piastri across line. What's a lap time going to be in dry conditions? 1.10.7. What can Sonoda do as he crosses the line? Is it going to be quicker? Yes, it is by two tenths nearly, nearly two tenths. He goes P1. But that's a strong effort from both lads, I think. Well, at least I hope so. Let's see what the lap times are like as they come through. No, we're looking good. If Verstappen splits us, that's very good. That's very, very good. We have got genuine pace here again at Canada. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm not going to be as surprised now if Sonoda could get pole because th this man's just a qualifying genius, it would seem. And now it's raining, I think. Yeah, it is raining. Signs out on track on the Inters. No point there. I'm liking this, you know what? Because the whole time in the McLaren seasons, even Lando, like, yeah, he got a couple of poles, but qualifying was always a struggle for us. We always had to make up places in the race with both drivers, whereas now it's kind of a case of we're losing places in the race because our car's clearly better in qualifying than it is in the race. You know, Las Vegas, even though, we, yeah, we were fighting, I think we were looking less comfy in the race conditions, having to just constantly slipstream people to stay in the fight. And as we come to the end of Q2, well, the biggest name really that's going to get knocked out is Sebastian Vettel, P12. He did not set a lap time good enough, so he is knocked out along with one of the Mercedes of Ocon, who didn't even bother saying a lap time, very odd. Uh, De Vries, Gasly, Mick Schumacher, Bottas gets through into the top 10 in the Sauber. That's very, very decent. And K-Mag in the Alpine, I feel, is also a pretty damn good performance. Um, Albon as well, because I think whoever his... Who was his teammate? Is it Stroll? I can't really remember. The other the other Aston already got knocked out in Q1. All right, it's going to get less wet right at the end. May as well do a bit of a banker lap here. Just get a lap time on the board, really. Um... For the sake of it, I think we've got Sonoda out just ahead of uh, Verstappen. So again, hopefully both drivers have clean air to work with. Piastri just is going to pass Bottas. Sonoda might be hit with a little bit of traffic there from Valtteri, unfortunately. Hopefully he gets out of the way quick enough. Let's see. Please, Valtteri. Yeah, okay. That's, that's all right. I think he hasn't blocked us that much. Right, let's see what Piastri's got. First man to set a time. 118 dead. Sonoda goes even quick. Mate, this yeah, guy, Sonoda, Yuki, he is so quick over one lap in this Williams. Nearly a quarter of a second quicker than Piastri. And he goes quicker than Verstappen by nine hundredths of a second. I think that dry period at the end is going to be very interesting, but very nice. Very, very nice. So initially... We're looking just as strong as we did in Las Vegas, to be honest. Oh, Bottas. What the hell? Bottas up there. As uh, the track is looking drier now, the sun's out. Bottas, though, put a time. Well, now everyone's going so much quicker. Russell's gone even quicker on Inters. So he's now on provisional pole. Perez in second place. So those guys have just done a much quicker lap on a, on a drier track, but still on Inters. But Bottas, for a moment there, was, well, he is still quicker than, than Max. It was P2 at the time. When I, um, when I reacted to it. But the track's getting rapidly drier. So let's get ready for the soft compound attire. Track's still quite damp apparently there. Now it's coming rapidly, rapidly down. And we're just going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. Because we can get even drier. 
We need probably two... Okay, like, probably now. I think we've got a good space here as well. Yeah, we've got good space. Let's send them both out now. We've got very good space there. Uh, and the track is now bone dry. And both cars have got clean air, I think. Piastri, clean air ahead of him. Sonoda, clean air ahead of him. At the moment, it's fifth and eighth as people are going quicker and quicker. Everyone now on the soft compound. Russell, at the moment, in the Ferrari, is first. Um, Sainz up to second place. The one-two for Ferrari. They've suddenly got a lot of pace here in the drive. But Verstappen's yet to set a time, as are we. And Verstappen comes across the line. What's he going to put? Or I think he's onto a flyer. No, he's on his flyer now. So what can Sonoda... Verstappen and Piastri do because right now it's a 1-2 for Ferrari. Bottas sitting in third place and uh, is this Piastri? No, that's Sonoda. Hopefully Bottas gets out the damn way because Sonoda's on two purples. He is flying once again. Piastri, what can he do? Can he split the two Ferraris at least? Let's see. Across the line. Ah, just... Oh, he set the same exact lap time as Carlos Sainz. That's incredible. What can Sonoda do? Across the line. Yuki. He is pole position right now. Provisional pole as it stands. Could he get pole for three races in a row? This would be incredible. Verstappen has a chance to ruin it. He's on a flyer, but there's a lot of traffic. They are getting out of the way, though. The traffic gets out of the way. And to be honest, to be fair, that Alpine's given Verstappen a bit of slipstream. The Alpine pills into the pit. Verstappen's got a bit of a toe. Is he going to ruin the party for our man, Yuki Tsunoda? Crosses the line. No! Once again, Yuki is on... This guy is... Uh, he's him. He is him on a Saturday. Oh, my God. Oh my god. This is it. I, I didn't know he had it in him. This is incredible. Three poles in a row. My oh my. This is really showing that Australia wasn't a fluke. Like, the race, I still don't know what happened. Maybe I just was out of practice managing a race and didn't do it too well with the tyre temps and etc. Um, because at the time, it felt like the pole was a massive fluke because of how the race went. But you can't deny now, Yuki, three poles in a row. This isn't a fluke. This guy is rapid in this Williams over one lap at least. And I want to stress, we are on hard difficulty, by the way. Hard, hard for car development race. So the AI will, de de will be developing very quickly in the race. It's the hardest it can be. And Yuki's still pulling out that kind of performance in quali. Incredible. But now we've got a tough race. I don't think there's any rain in this race. No. No rain, so what kind of strategy are we looking at? Either a one-stop, two one-stop options, or there is a two-stop. I feel like a one-stop's the better way to go. I feel like we're going to just get stuck in traffic if we don't go for the... If we, if we go for the two-stop. Maybe worth Piastri doing something different, though, because he's in fifth place. I back him to have good pace. And we know his consistency isn't great, which isn't great for a one-stop. It is good, maybe, for a, a two-stop. So, maybe we try something different with him, just, just to see how it goes. I feel like it would just be a waste if we just stick them on the same strategy and hope that Piastri can make up the positions to where Sonoda is starting this race. 70 laps of the Canadian Grand Prix await our drivers here in Montreal. Yuki Sonoda will be hoping things go his way today. They've got a fantastic opportunity starting on pole, but can they carry it through to the end? And it'll be exciting to see just what will happen here today. This is it. We're moments away now at the Canadian Grand Prix. Here we go. Lights out for Sonoda. Off pole, and it's a good start for him. He covers off. Verstappen, Verstappen and Russell side by side into turn one. Sonoda still leads the Canadian Grand Prix. Piastri down to P6, even though he's starting on softs. What are the tyres saying? So we are one of three people in the top uh, top ten, or four, one of four people in the top ten that have chosen the medium tyre. A lot of people on softs. A lot of people might be on a two-stop or just an aggressive one-stop from the first tyre. So we need to use... The fact we're on mediums to our advantage of kind of annoying anyone on softs, including that man Verstappen right there, who is already, oh my god, making a huge dive. Oh god, oh god, oh god. 
as Piastri gets Perez, which is good. Piastri up to P5, so he's re-overtaken. But uh, Sonoda already under massive pressure from Max Verstappen, just showing again, yes, Yuki can do it over one lap, but that Red Bull race, race car is just very, very good. And don't forget, you know, the likes of Lando Norris, the man who won Las Vegas last time out. The Ferraris look strong. They're on the same tyres as this is going to be a long race for us to try and navigate. But at the moment, Sonoda is going to lead the entire first lap at least. But uh, can we get that elusive win that uh, evaded us in Las Vegas? Oh, Verstappen already again pressurising, pulling out. Verstappen, uh, uh, Sonoda having to defend. And Verstappen's down the inside. Verstappen is down the inside. He's through. He's through. He's there on the right. I'm really pushing Yuki here on these tyres, but Verstappen's just that much quicker. And Yuki's losing his head a little bit, and he has been overtaken. Oh, just a bit too quick for us. Just a bit too quick for us at the moment. Well, we'll keep it going like this, but let's go neutral there. We've already used a lot of fuel, so let's now calm that down a bit, shall we? Uh, Temperature-wise, it's all right, you know, though. Temp-wise, I'm not too bad. We can probably keep that on aggressive. Uh, let's go neutral there. Right, Piastri, what are we saying? P5, going for a move on Science, maybe? Go on, son. Come on. Get past these two Ferraris. We're on mediums. Very much. The vibe should be trying to get past these Ferraris who are on mediums. And meanwhile, Sonoda, well, we'll just stick with stick with this happen. Let's go standard, though. Try and long out this first stint because we need to. We're on the one stop. And try and use the DRS from lap three to just reel us along with this happen, hopefully. And hopefully Russell, mm, Russell's probably going to catch us as well. As the DRS games already begin. Ah, Sonoda's already out of one second from Verstappen. I can't push too much with Sonoda on these tyres. We need to protect them. If he was on softs, it might be a different story. But the whole game plan is trying not to wear them out too. I guess we can push a little bit. Because we need to stay ahead of Russell as well. But apart from that, Verstappen may, may have just checked out a little bit annoyingly. And, oh, there goes Russell. No, the race pace of these guys is too much. We really do have. We have just qualifying and inshallah. That is all we have. That is all we have. Right, old Piastri's overtaken. He's overtaking. Carlos Sainz, come on, come on. Finish the move off. And this is how it started as we look at a replay on the outside of turn one to the inside for turn two. Very nice, tasty move from Piastri. And actually, Sainz came back at him then, that must have been. Um, yeah, Sainz came back at him through this chicane. And that's where we uh, came back onto it in the live action. They're still going at it side by side. Piastri, come on, mate. Finish off this move. No. Oh, now we're being backed into Perez, of all people. And the Mercedes, come on, Piastri. You can finish this move off, son. We're on the quicker tire. We have to be doing this. Let's go a bit of deploy on this main straight. Try and get past. Meanwhile, Sonoda's sticking with Russell, who is catching Verstappen as we get past. Very nice. We are past with Piastri up into P4. Sonoda. Oh, Verstappen's getting overtaken. George Russell. Russell. Ferrari and Russell have some pace today. Russell goes and overtakes Max Verstappen for the race lead. We have a race on our hands for the race lead. It may not be with us. It may be Russell and Verstappen, but we have one. And that's giving Verstappen, uh, that's giving Sonoda some DRS now. We're within one second. And Piastri, if he's quick enough, may not be too far off either. We're within one he's second. Overtake of Sonoda with Piastri. We're watching this fight on board with Sonoda. These two going at it. And here we are then. Both our drivers within one second of each other. And we'll have DRS to pull away and help not get attacked by Sainz again. And Sonoda, can he have a go at one of these guys? Is he going to go for the dive bomb? Oh, 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 keep going, keep going. <laughs> he makes one pass. I thought it was going to be maybe two. But he's finishing off the move on Russell. And now he might go for the move on Verstappen, who may be struggling on his tyres. Definitely struggling a little bit. 86%. Sonoda, very happy with that move. He should be. He's up to P2. And now Piastri. Could he have a go at Russell now? Yes. Yes, he's got him. He's got him. He used a bit of deploy. And he's got him. And now Sonoda's going for P1. It's coming back to us. This race is coming back to us. Piastri is up into P3. Sonoda's P2. I reckon Piastri actually cleared Sonoda. I'm not going to tell him to let him by because it wouldn't be fair, but I reckon he clears him. I reckon he could clear him. Just needs to hang on with DRS. 
Sonoda. Oh, Sonoda actually might preempt that and just overtake Verstappen for P1. Oh, this is amazing stuff. Go on, Sonoda. Come on. Get that move. Piastri, is he closing in? Yes, he is. Yes, 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 yes Sonoda. Good stuff. Into P1. And now, Piastri, if you overtake Verstappen, we can do some work here as a team. Go on, Piastri. Oh, no, Verstappen's coming back at Sonoda. Right, Sonoda's been re-overtaken. Piastri's now in the mixer. We're one second away from the Ferrari. We're in a very good position. Because they're both on softs, and we've... Oh, my God. We've been slowed down so much that Norris is now within range. Okay, I'm sorry, Yuki. Right now, it was going well for you, but just for the sake of getting a soft tyre runner versus soft tyre runner... Let Piastri buy, and then you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, some. Because Piastri now is into P1. Sonoda's been overtaken, though, by Lando Norris. But that's what I was worried about for Piastri. And the thing is, Piastri's actually on soft, so he, need, he needs to use this because we're on a two-stop with him. Right, Sonoda's still in P4. He's still within DRS range of Norris. But now Perez is in DRS range, and the Ferraris, mamma mia, they have dropped off the pace. They have really dropped off the pace. With Piastri... Gonna maybe harvest here, because Verstappen will overtake us. Let's get the pack under Just control. try and save a lot of battery to try and push away and break DRS if we can. I think that might be quite useful for us. And also might back all of them into Sonoda to be fair as well. If we're just saving here. Just save, save, save. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Don't let Norris buy though. Don't let Norris buy. Dear God. Got the battle assist. Right. Now, if you overtake Verstappen here. Then we can push away. We'll get him in. Get him onto the next straight, actually. Get him onto the straight. Get him onto the straight. Piastri down the... Oh, I thought we're down the inside. Right, full attack now. Full beans. Full beans. And let's uh, let's jump Verstappen if we can, please. And then push away. Because tyre wear-wise, we've got... Oh, I, I thought Piastri was going to be good on tyres. But he's got worse tyre wear than, than Verstappen. Just showing how harsh he is on his tyres I guess but now's the time to try and push away a little bit from from Verstappen and try and break DRS if we can. Fast can forward can we break thing. DRS? Oh we're getting close we're getting close. Eight tenths very close to breaking DRS but just not quite. Now we've run out of battery but we have broken one second please 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 no Verstappen's still sticking with us that's unfortunate Sonoda's doing good work here though sticking with Norris. All these guys on softs Sonoda's doing well, just biding his time right now. Gonna go a bit of deploy with uh, Yuki and a bit of pushing on fuel, you know. I think now's the time to start attacking because we're about halfway through this stint. Piastri's being overtaken by Verstappen. He's got, it's like Las Vegas all over again. We're locked in a fight with Verstappen and Norris for the race win. And again, Piastri out of pack, out of energy, even though we're on neutral now. A little bit of harvest needed. And now Sonoda is heating up in this race and he's gonna go for the move. On the outside of Lando Norris. And now might overtake his teammate. Basically, this is repaying the favour. You know, Sonoda, we told him to let Piastri buy. And it's only fair now that he overtakes him because Piastri's not making the use of the softs as well as I thought he would. Right, we're going to use a bit of fuel for Piastri now and go aggressive again. Right, all of a sudden, Norris now is attacking Verstappen. Lando Norris, the reigning champ on the inside. And he's going to overtake Verstappen on the outside. Sonoda is just... Hanging back a little. We're kind of uh, overheating the tyres a tad, so that's fine. That's fine for now. Just stick with them. Piastri's there as well, though. Right, Sonoda is now making a move on the lead. Piastri's back ahead of Norris. That's actually quite good, you know. Piastri with 57% tyre wear has got ahead of Norris. Very good. I'm going to push with Sonoda now. Let's push these mediums. And then with uh, Piastri, I think start pushing as well. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit to the two stop. I'm gonna commit to the two stop. I reckon Piastri's got him, in it, got in him, uh, got it in him to overtake and make a two stop work. Oh, yellow flags! Oh, safety car! Oh, thank God I hadn't pit yet. Thank God I hadn't pit yet. Sonoda just overtook Verstappen for the lead there. Verstappen's right there. Piastri's right there, and a safety car. Oh my days! Amazing. Free pit stop for both drivers. This has got to be a free pit stop. We've got to pit onto hards now for, for Sonoda as well. We'd be stupid not to. So it's going to be a double stack under the safety car. But it's a free pit stop for both drivers. And now, honestly, I might convert Piastri to a one stop. Because, well, it, we, we need to make use of the free pit stop. Safety car's out and it's for, uh, it's a Haas driver. That has crashed then. Oh dear, a crash. It's uh, Hadjar. Who the hell is Hadjar? 
Missy always driving for Haas. I feel like they've done a driver transfer mid right oh, mid season. He's hit the wall of champions. And he's out. I I swear there was a different driver at Haas. Or was it always Beerman and Hajar? It might have been Hajar, to be fair. Right, both drivers are coming in then. Both drivers are in. Right, both drivers are in. Double stack. Please let this be all right. Sonoda's out. Okay, nice. Oh, a little bit slow for Piastri. Oh, very slow. Very slow for Piastri. No. Oh, we're being held up by everyone. We're being held up by everyone. P10. We got held up by everyone coming out of their pit box. Oh, okay. Well, that's frustrating. Everyone is on... Mm, no one is on hards. We're the only people that have gone hards. That's also interesting. Right, safety car. He's probably going to come in on this lap, I think. ERS is fully topped up. We've got a lot of fuel. A lot of fuel to burn. Track is full. And are we coming in soon? No, we're still not coming in. This has been a very long safety car period. Very, very long safety car period. The longer we go, this is this is good for us. Good for the, the hard tire strategy. Right, here we go. Here we go. We're getting ready. Why why is this tire overheating? We've been behind a safety car. How is that even possible? Right, pushing on fuel. Deploy battle assist. Deploy battle assist. Right. Come on, lads. Come on. Safety car is in, and Sonoda is going to bolt and hopefully maintain first place. But we're the only man, me and Piastri, Sonoda and Piastri on hards. So, um, yeah, very interesting vibe. Honestly, they may overtake us, absolutely. But we're going to the end. That's the game plan for us. We're going to the end of this race. Yeah, Sonoda gets overtaken by Verstappen and... And Russell, we're going to go down to standard because uh, I'm being serious. We're just going to keep steady, ignore everyone, and do our own race here completely. Oh, oh my God. No. What happened? What happened? What? Who is that? Perez. What happened? Everything was going fine. I was just... Speeding through this, the first part of this stint, Sonoda was swapping left and right with Russell for second and third. Verstappen had pulled away a little bit, but we knew we weren't making another pit stop. They all probably are making another pit stop. Piastri, a little bit stuck, just heading this train in P10, but he's also on hards going long. But now, what's happened here? Piastri just overtook Vettel, apparently, but what's happened here? What on earth? has happened here with Sonoda and Perez. Virtual safety car is out. Oh, is it your fault, Yuki? No, don't tell me, Yuki. Please, Yuki. Oh, Perez was Perez was up in second place? Was this? Oh! Oh, Yuki! Yeah, that was your fault, buddy. No wonder he's apologising. Mate, no one else to blame but yourself there. Crossed up in the break zone. And he's out. He's out. And we're watching it again because the game just wants to laugh in my face. Really bad. That's such a bad mistake. That's really bad. Ah. Uh, well, we've got one less car to worry about. Um, Increase. Lifting it's coast. the wrong car, though, because we're down in P8 <laughs> with Piastri here. I mean, there's still a chance we could pull off go. maybe a top five with Piastri here on this long, audacious one-stop. Um, oh, my God. Damn it. Damn it. Penalty for Sonoda. That's going to be a grid penalty for next race, isn't it? Ah, the pain continues. The pain continues. All right, virtual safety car is ending and we're going to go BFC on deploy ending. off that p8 ahead of vettel which is good and we're going green 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 let's get these tires up to temperature if we can hopefully seb doesn't close up too much okay up to temperature all good right we're going light we're going light we're going long on this stint mate you know the thing you know the thing is as uh piastri gets overtaken by vettel who set the fastest lap of the grand prix jesus 
Um, you know the thing with uh, with Sonoda's crashes. I this entire race I haven't put either Piastri or Sonoda on high aggression, and he still made that kind of error. That was uh, that's really frustrating. And Vettel had overtaken us, but we've re overtaken him, even though he's still one of the fastest men out there. And we're now closing up to Joe Guan Yu in the Aston. Slowly, this race is coming towards us with the hard tire. Okay, Verstappen's in. The leader just pit, and he's down in 17th. I think we have a very good chance. We just need to keep these tires in check. More people pitting. Piastri up to P6. He's just overtaken Joe. There's a pit stop issue for Bottas as well, which is unfortunate for him. Great for us. Joe is still annoying us here, though. And that's a little bit of a worry because Verstappen now has closed up to us. Maybe we need a bit of aggression now. Right, Piastri's P P6 here. Verstappen is um, two seconds behind us right there. That's where Piastri is. That's where Verstappen is. That's not a massive gap, but there's 23 laps to go, and we've got 74% tyre wear. I think that's actually pretty good. That's very good. And surely Verstappen will wear out his tyres quicker on those softs. So we just got to keep at, at it like this. Going to save some fuel just in case. Are these guys going to pit ever? Pit window's open. We're going to ignore that. Verstappen is in a battle with Gasly and Vettel. That works for us. That's good for us. Okay, Piastri just got overtaken by Vettel. What? How's Vettel still got that sort of performance on mediums? Jesus. Our old McLaren car is still pretty damn quick, eh? Seems like it. I don't know why I just turned Canadian there. And now Verstappen's right behind us. Uh, all right, let's go a bit of deploy and pushing on fuel. Try and re-overtake Vettel if we can. Yeah, okay, that's good for us. Vettel, please, please annoy the heck out of Verstappen. You're our old driver. For old time's sake, please do us a solid and defend Verstappen with everything you've got. All right, Piastri's up to third. Optimal pit stop, apparently. No, we're going to the end, mate. We're going to the end. Right, we're catching one and two. Norris is fighting Magnussen, of all people. Magnussen is fighting for the race lead at the moment. These, these two are medium. Same with... For Vettel. Vettel just gets overtaken and this may now be a nail in the coffin. Verstappen is right here. What's his tire wear saying? 81 to R67. This is always going to be a bit of a bold strategy but needs must after we got held up in the pits by about 10 places. I'm going to tell him to defend this quite high. High aggression, okay. high defense. And then go for the move yourself, Piastri. Oh, Piastri going for the move, putting a car in between him and Verstappen. That is very good. Going to go back to neutral actually. Because let's push on a bit. Let's push on a bit. And use this to our advantage. Piastri reeling in P1. Whilst Verstappen's busy fighting Magnussen. That, this could help us. Verstappen's very rapid though. Verstappen's so rapid on those softs. But Piastri overtaking his old teammate. Overtaking our old team. To get up into P1 legitimately. An on-track overtake for P1 that is. Not even through the pit stop. Because McLaren haven't pit yet. Great stuff. But now... Verstappen will probably overtake very soon. All right, always defend. Piastri's confidence is at a peak. But now we've got a problem. Verstappen is one car away from being in clean air here to attack us with everything he's got. I need to hope that Norris holds him up on Lando. Do us a solid, mate. Just like Vettel. Just hold him up a little bit for us. Actually, to be fair, we might be helping that because we're giving Norris DRS here. Although now we might get overtaken into turn one by the McLaren. Oh, is he going to make the move? Oh, I think he might. I think he might. Oh, no, no, no. We don't need this. We don't need this. Oh, my God. Okay. Piastri's really fighting. Let's go neutral. Bit of fuel. Bit of aggression. Try and re-overtake the McLaren. Yeah, re-overtake the McLaren. Then go back to defense. Back to defense. As Vers oh, no, Verstappen's right around the outside. Oh, no. Okay. Well, defend with all, you what all you've got, mate. All you've got. Massive defense needed here. Big defense needed. High fuel. Can we keep him at bay? Can we keep him at bay? What's his tire wear saying? 76%. His tires aren't... Oh, he's overtaken us. Okay, Verstappen's swoop around the outside very easily. But I think we can stick with him, you know. I think we can stick with him. We haven't stuck with him. He's absolutely waltzed away on those softs. How, how are these guys not pit yet? 31%. They're not going to the end, surely. Surely not. If these McLarens are still this quick with 30% tyre wear, I think we can afford to push a bit harder with 62% on the hards. And now Sainz has overtaken 
So the Ferraris have come back into this race. Sainz just overtaken Norris. What are McLaren up to? Norris and Vettel yet to pit. Magnussen yet to pit. He's down. Are they really trying to go to the end on mediums? That's ridiculous. Whereas uh, Sainz, he's going to overtake us. But I reckon we could... Well, I don't know. Albon's looking pretty quick as well. Albon set the fast half of the Grand Prix. Now he's overtaking Norris. And just like that, I feel like maybe we're not even on the podium today. Let's push back at Sainz a bit. Come on. Attack. Oh, Albon's got us. Albon's got us. This audacious one stop is unraveling a little bit. I say unraveling, though. Remember, we were P9 or 10 with Piastri before. So anything more than that is a gain. Because if we had stuck to a two stop, he would still be around P9 and 10. So swings and roundabouts. I'm annoyed that we can't get in the podium. But remember, Piastri was never in the podium fight pre the safety car, the virtual safety car. Uh, or after the safety car, I should say, and then pre the virtual safety car. So even P4 would still be a pretty great effort for him. I think he, he can do it. Ten laps to go. Surely he can do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All these guys. Oh, no, to be honest, come on. 58, 59%. We're pretty much there with them. Tireware wise we're there with them. Oh, Bottas is coming through. And he's overtaken us. The Sauber has overtaken us in P4. What an effort from Valtteri Bottas. He had a pit stop issue earlier in the race. He's up to P4. Madness. Madness. Well, we're, our tire wear is not even that bad. It's just about we're on hards, I think, now. Versus these softs. Even worn softs are quicker than worn hards. Oh, he's re-overtaking Bottas. Piastri's re-overtaking Bottas. Russell's got us, but we've re-overtaken the Sauber, at least. That's good. We've now got better tire wear than him. So, shot. come on. Surely we've got to secure this P5. Three laps to go. Full out attack now. Full out attack. So, Leclerc's overtaken us. Ah, uh, P5 no more. P6. Guess we're settling for P6. Leclerc recovering. Remember, Leclerc was back of the grid. He was last place. And he's recovered to P5, which is pretty solid for him. I think the best we can do now is probably holding onto P6. Because Bottas is slow. And he will hold up Joe and Ocon, I hope. Uh, and to be fair, Piastri's re-overtaken Leclerc. Okay, come on, son. Come on. Final lap. Final lap. This is it. This is it. Right. Keep it going. Into the hairpin. Right. Deploy. Deploy. Everything you've got. Everything you've got, man. Fuel's a little bit iffy. I hope we can save that by the end of this straight. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. That fuel. That fuel's looking a bit precarious. That fuel's looking very iffy. Please come down, fuel. Please come down, fuel. Please come down. Please come down, fuel. Please come down. As we overtake Leclerc. We overtake Leclerc. But are we going to slow up? On the line. Come across the line. No, Leclerc's got us across the line. Leclerc overtook us across the line. And we ran out of fuel there. Mad. P6. Recovering from P10. Off that uh, safety car pit stop uh, hold up. That's pretty good for Piastri. Because otherwise, well, I mean, also we beat McLaren thoroughly. My old team, what were they doing? P10 and 11. They left it way too late to put onto these softs. Uh, Verstappen's won it then. Sainz second. Albon third in the Aston Martin. Mad. Piastri P6. Recovered well. Uh, Sonoda. Big mistake from him. So, Verstappen wins it. Red Bull leading the way. McLaren second. Ferrari up to third now. We're down to fourth. But there are... Um, only six points, you know, ahead. So we're still. I, I, I'm. I reckon we. I reckon we got to aim for P4 and the constructors this season. I, I think we. I think I back us beating the rest of the teams. I think Ferrari will be a bit too quick for us. Clearly, they were today as well. Um, but it was a. Uh, mm, it was a race to forget for Sonoda. I'm happy with Piastri that we at least got him back to like P6 at least. Because um, well and truly, I think if he was on the two stop, he would have just been around P9 or eight. Uh, and we had to go for it. We had to try it. Um, overall, again, really good in quality. And in the race, just not reaching that same. We really do have a qualifying car. It really is a qualifying car. We need to try and get some race pace into this. You know, we've, we basically got Ferrari problems from like the last two, three years IRL. We can qualify well, but the race pace isn't there. But guys, if you have enjoyed the episode at the Canadian Grand Prix, nonetheless, then be sure to hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.